our way to Arizona. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we are hanging out in one of our all-time favorite states, Arizona. Come with us as we check out the state's most iconic route, hike some of the red rocks in search of vortexes, and spot some wildlife in North America's most visited national park. We're here on Route 66, and we're gonna find somewhere to eat and enjoy the classic Route 66, because why not? Did I just get it on my face? <laughs> I just fish. felt it like pop. It goes. Oh. Oh. So the origin story of Route 66 starts actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma from Cyrus Avery, who was a realtor and started acquiring oil leases across the country. And he needed a way to get them from Illinois all the way to Los Angeles. So he proposed that there was a road that needed to be constructed. Well, that road came to fruition. Route 66 starts all the way in Illinois and ends all the way in California, going through states such as Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. Route 66 has been used for truckers to get products and goods across the United States. And then in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, I-40 was introduced as technology um, progressed, cars got faster, people needed a smoother way to get from one side of the country to the other. Now for some cities, it wasn't that big of a deal because Route 66, for instance, you can drive through Winslow um, from the east and you end up having to get onto I-40 to continue Route 66 because I-40 I and Route 66 merged at this point. But unfortunately, some cities, towns, businesses weren't so lucky. We've been fortunate to drive various portions of Route 66 throughout many of our travels. And we have come across a couple of the towns that have not been very fortunate. And some of the things have just been left there and they're basically ghost towns. But don't miss out. Don't take I-40 all the way across. You gotta get on Route 66, take the slow roll. That's the best way to do it. We're on Route 89A. And this takes us down the windy back way from Flagstaff down to Sedona. We're very familiar with this drive. Um, it's beautiful and without snow or anything else, but uh, I'm just slightly hesitant. Again, we don't have chains on our van and it's two wheel drive. Plenty of cars running around, snow plows doing their thing, but it's pretty windy and vertical. So we'll see how this goes. And it's snowing again as we get pelted. I'm really hoping that we get to see Snowdona. It's been one of those things I've wanted to have happen. We have experienced Sedona in multiple seasons and Snowdona is one that I'm really hoping we get to see today. Snowdona? No Snowdona, but I just, I love being here. Yeah, it's nice. It just, it feels so comfortable. But, we've just come in and taken the first couple of roundabouts and straight into the traffic. It There's moves. Snoopy Rock! Sorry. It moves. It's not horrible. But it is traffic and the longer in the day, or the farther in the day that you get, the worse it gets. So plan ahead. Snoopy 
We're here at the Center for the New Age, and I'm hoping today that I can get my aura read. Sally, Jamie is completely booked up today, and her next appointment is not till Monday. So, if you want to get an aura photo taken, make sure you book in advance. We'll leave her information in the description below. Alright, I'm not a huge, like, crystal person or whatever, but they are pretty and I do enjoy them. But I did get a couple things. So I got a little mini book before I come back and get my aura read. At least I know what she's talking about. Um, I also got a little rose quartz. Bring a lot of self-awareness and love and just really open up my self, self-love, essentially. Then we have this clear quartz. It's kind of got this like rainbow aura to it. Um, she did say to sage this and she was going to give me some sage to cleanse these before I use them. And don't run them under tap water. But yeah, uh, didn't give me the sage, that's fine. Then I got my good friend Laura a really cute little evil eye. So, if you're not familiar with evil eyes, you are not supposed to purchase these for yourself. They are supposed to be given as gifts. Otherwise, it cancels out the, the good positive vibes it's supposed to bring for you. So, I'm gifting it to my friend Laura because it's her one year anniversary for a restaurant. So, mm. I felt like it was a good gift. If you decide to come to Sedona and you are looking for the Vortexes, this is a really great place to look for them or ask about them because they will give you a map of where all the vortexes are in town. And there's an actual vortex here in this building, which is why they built this specific business here. So uh, they've had it tested. They know for sure that there is a vortex on this property underneath the building. It has both masculine and feminine properties. If you are into the vortexes, come check this place out. Oh, this is a fun little place. Um, whether you want food or shops or um, art, uh, it's a it's a good it's a good spot to come and chill and relax and, and get the feel for the area. Um, what else was I gonna say? Thank you. It's very sweet. Parking is a pain in the butt here, especially on the weekends and during peak season. So be aware of that. There's plenty of restaurants here in this little spot, but I have one in, in mind that I'm interested in seeing if they're open right now, so we're heading out. It's one of my favorite here in town. Those are fun. Like fresh made little tortilla chips. And so, pull up. I don't want to leave. You do want to leave? No. Okay, let's go home. I want to stay here. The restaurant, how did they do? It was fine. As the kids would say, that restaurant slaps. <laughs> that was very tasty. They have a lot of really great things. Um, opted out of dessert, although the tres leches is really delicious. And they have a very unique flan here as well, so. Flan. Yeah. Flan. <clears throat> All right, let's go to, your, to the next. your next little place, Nicole's been eyeing a, a certain ladder for I think like five years <laughs> since the very first time we came to Sedona I saw this ladder it's the backstory of the ladder so I want to say it was like 2015 or 16 we came here for the very first time for our anniversary and we stopped at this cute little place and they had this adorable little wooden ladder 
and I had to have it because it was like $30, so cheap. But I was like, no, we're not getting that. So I was like, fine. But next time we come here, I'm getting it. Well, the next time we came, he was like, no, we're not shipping it home for three times the price. So the third time we came here, I was going to order it again. And they were like, we can ship it. It's going to be $100 to ship it plus the cost of it. So it was like $130. But I was like, no, we're not doing that. So he promised the next time we come here in the van, we can pick one up and bring it home. So today we're picking one up and we're bringing one home. And I've already called them to make sure that they have ladders. They confirmed they have all four sizes. I'm getting that ladder. You gotta come in here. What's happening? You gotta go in here because I gotta show you something. Okay. Come, come, come. You ever seen what a dead cactus looks like? Is that the one you want? This is it. Wait. This is the one. Are you sure? Absolutely. You sure you don't want like a little one? No. Like, uh, like, like that one? You mean this one? Yeah. <laughs> you sure you don't want that one? No. I'm positive. This is the one. And where are you going to put that in the van? Okay. So you got a ladder and some other things. I did. I did get some other things. Happy? Very happy. To. We are trying to find the airport mesa vortex. So we came up here a couple years ago with our friends. We did not hike down to find the vortex because it was getting late. If you haven't seen that video, we'll leave that right here. Do you have any any idea what you're actually looking for here? There's not like a sign that says vortex or anything. It's a feeling. Hmm. Is it like after your first cup of coffee and you have that feeling? That's like hit your soul good. No, I meant like the part where you have to poop. Is that feeling? <laughs> is that what we're looking for? No, no, I don't, I don't know. Each vortex feels differently and everybody has a different feeling with the vortex. Some people don't even feel it at all. All right, yeah. march on there, vortex hunter. Look at that tree. It must be a vortex. That's what they say signifies that there is a strong vortex in the area is that the trees start to twist really heavily and that's like the sign but most of these trees have like some kind of twist to them although that one back there was like real twisty I'm so out of breath from just walking this trail. I feel young and energized. Primarily because I've done nothing for two days except for drive. I probably had 30 energy drinks, 15 cups of coffee. But I feel good. Outside, breathing in air. I'm 
Nicole downloaded a map. All right. So this little diamond is supposed to be where the vortex is. So if we're looking at this map, this is this big spot here. This one is this small spot here. Mm -hmm. Around this corner is this spot here. So it should be in that little tiny pocket right through here. I think it's more or less right there where that... Where the placards are? Yeah, like where they've created that space. I don't middle. know. Maybe. I still feel like it's right on this like little curve that we're about to go through. Let's see it again. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe it's down there. I don't know. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in trouble on that one. Hey, that's the payback from me throwing the stick at you yeah. on the beach. If you don't remember that one, replay. Oh my god, watch out! <laughs> I know I'm gonna get that back later. Certainly I'm gonna get that back later. But it was worth it. So we're thinking that that is the spot where the vortex is. Where that twisted up log is. I mean, it could be literally anywhere in here, but that thing is super twisted up. Right. And according to this, I mean, it's not very accurate. So it could be anywhere. Yeah. I mean, if I had to make my best guess, that's, I'm thinking the same thing, it's right up there. So it says right here, finding the strongest energy are twisted juniper branches. So, I mean, that thing is... Yeah, that sucker's twisted up. If I could manipulate my body to do that, I would do it, but it's like... What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, but why would that have anything to do with anything? So I could physically show you? If any of you guys live in Sedona or from the area or uh, have made it up here and you feel like you felt something or you found the vortex, let us know. Let us know. Is that the spot? Is that the spot? Why are you doing it on that? Just take your boots off. We could put them in the, in Whoa, the sink or something. Those are dirty. They're, they're really dirty. Look that. <gasps> Look how clean those paws are. Good morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Sedona. And I am walking up to the front of our hotel right now. We stayed in a hotel last night. Cause it's Sedona. It's really hard to find somewhere to park a van. So, um, if you've been here and you know where to park a van without getting in trouble, let us know. Cause we freaking love it here. Nonetheless. Walking up to the front, they're doing a meditation and yoga session. I'm going to participate in the meditation section this morning and pass on the yoga because we are going to go to another little secret place today. Oh, that was very relaxing. 30 minutes, very quick. Um, she went through a chakra meditation, so going through basically all of the chakras. I've never done that before. So that was a really fun experience today. Um, Sedona's very unique in the fact that people call it like very hippy dippy um, or like, I don't know, weird crystal people, but it's just like something about being here and just like allowing yourself to just open up to whatever the day is and whatever is happening. It's really relaxing. Sometimes you just gotta let the hippy dippy things happen. I like to consider myself a free spirit, if you will. I think that's why I like it here so much. Now let's check in on Brad and Daisy and see what they've been up to in the room. Right where I left you, huh? Hello. How was your adventure? It was great. Yeah? You missed out. Did you? Um... Any 
that stuff? Nah, just got my chakras balanced. Which ones? All of them. How many do you have? Seven. You have seven chakras? Seven chakras. Does everybody have seven? Seven chakras. Wow, fancy. Yeah. Was there a little boom thing in there? No, but there is in the uh, the lobby. Huh. There's a guy playing the flute too. It was a jazz flute? <laughs> Let's go. It's actually great. We gotta go over there. Can we go up there? Yes, yes, Maybe. yes, yes. Coffee. Good morning. Good morning. We're getting checked out of the room and I want to find some breakfast. I really enjoy hotel stays like this. A lot of times we are like run and gun, you know, get up early, stay at a truck stop, get up early and keep driving and get to our destination. This is kind of one of the places that we absolutely love in the whole wide world. And so if it was up to Nicole, we'd probably skip Vegas and just stay here the whole time. I'm just planning like a few years from now we're moving here. Uh, we've already talked about, you know, what our future home looks like, what we would do, where exactly we would have that house. The future is very bright in Sedona. Anywho, we're not quite there yet. Let's go find some food. And then, hopefully, the plan is to head back north, get on 40, and head west to Vegas. But I think we have one thing in between there that we want to do, if weather permits. new today. It's called a wildflower. So we're grabbing a couple little things so we can get back on the road. We're going to eat in the van. I got some mac and cheese and it's really delicious. It's actually pimento cheese mac and cheese. Ooh, that sounds amazing. It is. Do you want a bite? Yeah. Some little baby bite. Feed the camera. Off. Oh. That's good. So if you're coming into Sedona from the north of Flagstaff, you're gonna see uh, as you're entering 89A, these cute little statues in the middle of these roundabouts. And I just read that they're actually a significance of something. So there's a north end one and a south end one. So I think one is like for uh, rain and nourishment for the land and the other one is uh, like, prosperity or something else like that but apparently they whisper to one another from the north to the south it really ties into the kind of native lands that are here in Sedona well we made it to our second attraction we did make it to the second attraction and it's snowing you want to know where we are don't show them yet Snowing on your face. Yeah. Okay, now you can see. Um, because at no point did we actually talk to camera while we were down there. It's funny how the big national parks, you know, the three or four, you're mesmerized by what's happening and what's going on, and it's very impressive. So, sorry. Even though this wasn't like a planned stop, we did do something new here today because we've been here at least twice, right? Yeah. Uh, 
so we got to watch it snow in the Grand Canyon. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. So check that off the list. Seems like every time we come to the Grand Canyon it's cold. It is. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's just an elevation thing, but yeah. And that's gonna do it for this video. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so now and hit that notification bell. You're not gonna wanna miss out on next week's video drops. That's right, multiple. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.